The message was clear. A united Spain and elections now. 45,000 demonstrators from the centre and far right gathered in Madrid's Colón Square this weekend on the eve of the trial. They accused the socialist-led minority government of treason for offering to hold roundtable talks with separatists to defuse the Catalan crisis. Amid the growing tensions, lawyers defending the Catalan leaders who face charges of rebellion and a maximum prison sentence of 25 years condemned the whole process. The trial is taking place in Madrid, Spain's capital, a supposedly democratic country, a member of the European Union. But for us, this is a trial against the ballot box, a trial against democracy. Why are they being accused of rebellion? In order, among other things, to suspend all their political rights. It's the only way to stop them standing in elections. The key issue in the trial will be the violence that broke out during the Catalan referendum in 2017. To make the charge of rebellion stick, the court will have to prove it was deliberately provoked by the defendants. Their lawyers will argue it was provoked by the police. All eyes in Spain will be on this building, the Supreme Court in Madrid, for the start of the trial. All eyes, that is, apart from the Socialist Prime Minister, Pedro Sánchez, who's more worried about trying to get his budget through the building just round the corner from here, the Parliament. To do that, he'll need the support of Catalan separatist MPs. The state news agency has already put out reports that he'll call a snap election for April if he doesn't get their backing. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Madrid.